Hi, welcome to my channel. I'm Meowies, your non-binary friend. Um, I use they, them pronouns, and I'm really happy that you're here. Thanks for subscribing and liking the video because it really does help the channel. All right, let's get started. This is not an ASMR video. It's a low-key chat with your friend while they do some art. I've taken about a month's break from making art, and I've been wanting to make this specific project for a while. I've painted a series of Garfields over on my Twitch channel, but usually I paint things Jim Davis or other cartoonists have already created, and I've had this idea to paint Garfield wearing BT21 outfits for a couple of months now, but I don't have a lot of experience putting the ideas in my head onto paper. I've also been wanting to start putting my art onto YouTube. And I've been streaming my art on Twitch for over a year now, but editing videos is definitely a completely new skill set compared to live streaming. This is my first project like this, so please be gentle on me and let's grow together. I welcome any constructive feedback to help me get better at this. I'm doing a voiceover now. I was listening to a podcast that's new to me called Two Hot Takes. I just found them a few weeks ago and I love it. They usually read scandalous stories from Reddit and give their opinions and the main host, Lauren, seems really sweet. I have a few topics to cover, mostly BTS related, and we'll start with Jen's new single. I have a few topics to cover, mostly BTS related, and we'll start with Jen's new single. Or maybe we should start with his and all of the members' upcoming military service. And of course, their recent concert in Busan, which I did stay up all night, basically. I was going through a tough time in October. Most of you know, like, what happened. So I feel like I'm really late in talking about everything. And I know there were issues with the live on Weavers for the, um, the concert, but I I was able to watch it on YouTube from some broadcasting station. Unfortunately, I cannot remember which one. Like, it's so fun to watch those Weavers lives, but it can be so frustrating with armies, like, fighting. And I personally, I think what makes the app crash is having millions upon millions of people on the app at the same time. But there are so many armies who will comment, like, don't comment, ARMY, don't comment, like commenting makes the app crash. And then there are so many armies who are like, you know, saying the opposite. They're like, it doesn't make it crash, it doesn't make it crash. Like it's just fighting about chatting in the chat, which can be, you know, I hope it's okay to say that. Of course it doesn't mean that I don't love BTS. And um, I think it's great that Weverse like gives us a way to watch this stuff live. Okay, so Jen's new single is incredible. I feel like it was such a nice gift to ARMY before he begins his military service. And I really felt the love in his video. And to me, it felt like ARMY was represented by the child while he's teaching her to ride a bike. And eventually she's able to do it on her own. It's like BTS has been there for, for so many people while they've grown up and in the sense of love and pride I felt from Jen. It made me emotional when I watched the video for the first time. And I pre-ordered the green version of his album from Weavers, but I haven't received it yet. I actually have several pre-orders that haven't come yet. Jen's album, the BTS folio book, photo cards from the Busan concert, 2022 Damajong photo cards, and my army, army membership kit, which I ordered back in September. I also ordered the Love Yourself Final Tour DVD from Coco Dive, which I think I'll receive this month, hopefully within a couple of weeks. Collecting this stuff is addicting. As another side hobby, I've been selling my photo cards and other hobby-related stuff on Mercari, like not for a profit, just just to, you know, not have so much freaking stuff around, and that is what helps me afford afford these things, basically. I have a sign-up code for Mercari, which I'll put in the description box if anyone is interested. Um, you can get up to $30 off, I think. And I really like Mercari because you can find basically anything that you want on there. But I found some, some of my favorite pieces of my collection on there. Anyway, moving on, I'm also super excited for RM's new album to come out, and I'm wondering if it's going to be an album or a single. All I know is I plan to order Order it as soon as it's available and my partner's bias is RM so I'll be ordering a copy for him as well. I think it's been really really fun to get my partner into BTS and to see him become an army as well. 
<laughs> Whenever I've called him a BTS fan, my partner goes, no, I'm not a BTS fan, I'm ARMY, which is, it's so cute. Um, changing the topic, but still sort of related, I was in Paris recently for work, and I had a little time to sightsee. Um, and I've been to Paris before, so I didn't do any touristy stuff, and I was also really tired from work and being jet-lagged, so I didn't really want to do a whole lot. Um, mostly I just had room service a lot and, like, watched a ton of YouTube on my phone in my bed in the hotel room, but it was, it was really nice and that was what I needed and, you know, that is okay. Um, I did make it to a super cute tea place that sells K-pop merch, mostly albums, and really cute stationery and skincare items from Korea. The shop is called Aju Concept Store. It's a boutique and coffee shop, actually, and it's in the Bastille neighborhood of Paris, which is my favorite neighborhood there. Um, it was so cute inside, and they have a decent selection of K-pop albums and adorable takeaway cups for your drinks with, like, cute little drawings on them. And I'll put the location of that shop in the description box as well. And like, I know it's weird, but I'm the kind of person. Speaking of favorite places, I just got back from one of my favorite places, which is this, it's a ramen place in Japantown in my city. And they have a specific dish that I love. And I won't get too specific because, you know, might give away where it is, <laughs> like specifically. They have a specific dish that I love. And I get two modifications on this dish, and I've been getting this specific item about once a week for over a year. And we, like the restaurant and I, have gotten to the point that they seat me and already know my order without me having to tell them. And I've decided to just embrace it instead of letting it embarrass me or make me feel- I had something similar when I lived in Dallas, where I'm from, and I would go to this pho restaurant really often, like the same frequency, and I would get you know, one of their dishes with a modification and they memorized my order and would just like bring it out to me without me having to order. And the same thing happened at a coffee shop that I used to go to regularly. Like they would already have my drink made for me by the time the line left. But when that happens, like you're stuck with your order forever. Like they, you know, you can't ask for something else or you're wasting whatever they made you. But um, at this particular restaurant, I do go there for this dish in particular. And so I am actually really happy that they've memorized my order. It's really nice. Okay, so there was one other thing which I wanted to talk about that's like kind of bugging me. And so I look at YouTube shorts a lot and one came up on my feed about Blackpink's concerts recently. And now I'm not a blink, but I do think Blackpink is really talented and that their popularity is well deserved. And this YouTube short that came up on my feed was from an army like myself, and they were saying that people complained about Blackpink's recent concerts, and they basically ragged on the group and their management company. But the thing is, I don't think people who actually went to the concerts were the ones complaining. I heard a lot of good feedback from people who were at the concerts, and I did hear that there were too many ads played, but that's something I've noticed with capitalism in general. We are constantly being advertised to, and like as an army, it's kind of cool to see my favorites in ads, which kind of causes some cognitive dissonance from me, because um, I don't love like pointless consumerism, but I do love collecting things that feature, you know, my biases and my, I'm an OT7 actually, so <laughs> like I definitely collect that stuff and it's super contradictory. And anyway, back to the reel I saw about the concert, it left a bad taste in my mouth because it was from someone who didn't go to the concert and was basing their opinion off of like short clips. And I saw BTS in concert in Las Vegas, and if someone really wanted to be a hater, they could look at some of my clips and make negative comments, because BTS are humans, and some people will find anything to criticize. My experience of the concert, though, however, was literally the best weekend of my life, and I wouldn't trade it for the world. And like, yes, it was expensive, but it was a really wonderful experience, and I just wouldn't trade it for anything. And if someone is as diehard for Blackpink as I am for BTS, then I would trust their opinion over random people who weren't at the concert and aren't in the fandom. And I mean, <laughs> I'm curious to know, you know, what you think if you if you're like aware of the feedback that people were saying, um, do you do you agree with it? Did you go to the concert? Like 
I don't know. I mean, obviously I didn't go. I just, um, I just got like a taste of people being haters for no reason. And you know, I never really like that. Um, and if you've, if you've stuck around this long, thank you. Please consider subscribing, um, like the video. Like it really does help with the algorithm. Um, I plan to do a lot more videos like this. I actually have plans to do a whole series of this kind of Garfield. And as you as you might know or may have watched, we've we've painted at least 30 Garfields over on my Twitch channel. Um, I will get back to streaming over there soon. I took about a month off of streaming, um, but I'm, you know, I'm itching to play some games on there and I might like move my art over to this YouTube channel. And so I'm really happy with how this turned out. Again, I don't have that much experience with taking something that was in my brain and putting it on paper. And I'm pretty proud of this one. Um, so thanks for, thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out with me. Thanks for letting me be your background noise if that's what happened. And have a great day. Bye, everybody. Mwah!